Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am extra excited today. First off, because this video is going to be incredible. I have literally my plate is full in front of me on my desk pretty much all of my collection as far as face items go. I have so much to talk about. I don't think I have ever talked about so many products in one video, so I'm gonna try to get right to it. But I do wanna say, if you see the big smile on my face and you notice that I am wearing a blazer. It is because, my friends, I got an AC unit, like a little portable one. If you follow me on IG, you know I'm a happy girl. And uh, yeah, that is my big update. I don't know why I wanted to share with you guys. Probably because I have been like complain station. Every other word is, oh, the heat. Oh my goodness. And now I'm just like, you know what? Let's show off a little bit. Let's be business professional for this video and put on long sleeved blazer. Let's do it. I'm in it. We're talking about the best of the best in every category for face. Top three in each category. I was going to do the full meal deal eyes and lips, but thumbs this one up. If you want to see another dedicated video, make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell, Bell, turn your notifications on and let's talk about the face. Let me just hold it down and we're gonna have a moment. You and I think for just 2.2, what are my favorite primers? You probably already know if you've been with me for any amount of time at all that this Tarte primer was gonna make it in the mix. I have used this more than any other primer on my channel. I've gone through, you know, little jar after jar after jar after jar. So this is my medium pick for primer. It's a pore smoothing primer from Tarte. The drugstore pick is the new Impossible primer from Wet n Wild. I have been using this almost every day since I discovered it. Super affordable, really great products silicone free. And then Tatcha is my luxury pick for primer. Tatcha makes great primers for those of us that are combo to dry. I feel like it just nourishes the skin without adding a ton of greasiness. This is the liquid silk canvas and I love it. It is oil free, but it just makes you look so balanced and primed and ready for foundation. Okay, speaking of which, I'm ready for a meeting. I'm ready to, um, I'm not going anywhere. Moving on, foundation. Discovery of, I don't even know, I was gonna say of the year, but like of several years. I cannot even express to you all how much I love this foundation from Catrice. This is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I ordered their concealer. I'm waiting for it to arrive. I can't wait to try out the rest of the line and I will let you guys know how that goes, but this is a super, super full coverage foundation. I will link below a video where I put it on and you can see it in action. This is, I believe, $11. The other drugstore mention I will sneak in because I still love it very much and it's a thinner formula, not as heavy duty, not as full coverage is the L'Oreal Infallible. Now for a medium price point, uh, it's not really medium, medium, it's more up there, is the Shiseido Synchro Skin. Now I reviewed this a while back and I continued purchasing it. It states that it is a crease resistant foundation and I find that that actually is surprisingly true. So. I get heavy creasing right here, probably because I talk a lot, I smile a lot, I make really weird facial expressions, and my makeup always creases. But with this one, I do see a difference. It doesn't settle so much. You can just kind of pat it out a little bit easier. It doesn't break apart. And it also doesn't break apart on the rest of the face or blotch off. It's a solid foundation. I've been loving it for a long time. So that is my other pick. And then last but not least, I think I will always love this. Like I will always repurchase this just because it's a special formula. It's water resistant. If if you need something that is going to get on the neck as well or go over uh, contour or you just want something that layers up and still looks like natural real skin but is very transfer resistant sweat resistant of course water resistant long wear it's just it's such a great product super pricey but is a long time love and that is the air flash from dior mm. So good. These are like my favorite kind of videos where I'm just like, let's just gush about products. I'll tell you my full face routine. And I hope that you guys wanna see more as far as like the eyes and the lips, let me know. All right, so for drugstore cream contour, you guys can guess. I'm on another brand new one. This is from JCat. 
This is the Masterclass Face Color Palette. I'm wearing it today. This is the contour. It's so good. It blends so beautifully. You can bronze up the skin. You can do highlighting, contouring, everything. I did the nose, around the mouth, the full meal deal. Love it. Now, if you want something a little more high end, you're looking at the ingredients, you want that professional type of a palette, you want more colors to work with, I would suggest the RCMA Foundation Concealer Palette. This is... Oh, oh, she is well loved. Ew, that is so gross. Why am I showing you this? Uh, I tend to use my mirror as the palette. Clearly did not clean that off before filming, but I use this a lot. I go through these palettes. I will use it as complete foundation sometimes where I will sculpt and highlight and correct and I'll just use this. If you want that perfected pro type of a look, a palette like this can be a lot of fun. And if you are a pro makeup artist, I definitely recommend RCMA products just as a whole. Their brand is phenomenal. Concealers, let's talk about it. I have mentioned this one so many times. This is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline. This has a very yellow tone to it. This is the neutralizer. I specifically like the neutralizer. It brightens, it corrects, it blends out beautifully, and it really cancels out any dark circles. So if you have any bluish or purple situation going on, you're a little puffy. I just feel like this is a super just like one-two punch as far as a concealer goes. I've loved it for so long. Of course, we're not gonna stay long here because everybody knows about this concealer, whether you love it or hate it. The Tarte Shape Tape. They do have a creamier version out at Ulta that I saw. Should I try it? Or have you guys tried it? Let me know in the comments. And then the other one that is kind of a smash a smash surprise hit, <laughs> does that make any sense? The high-end guy right here is from Hourglass. It's not that much more expensive than Tarte, I don't believe, but it is definitely a high-end product. I really love the doe foot applicator. It's kind of wide, but thin. And I just find that the placement that I get with concealer, there's not too much laid down, but it's that just enough and the consistency is nice. It blends in, it's not overly greasy or slimy, but it's not too thin, it gives you nice coverage and the dry down is very natural. It doesn't dry down crunchy, bunchy, thick, nor does it dry down glossy and weird. It's just a really beautiful formula and I love it. Okay, let's talk powder for a moment. I have only drugstore options. I do not have a pressed powder that is high end. The last couple of pressed powders that I tried that were more expensive, I was like, you know what? I just prefer my drugstore finds more than all of this. So let's get rid of these and just focus on using what I love. It doesn't matter the price tag, right? So I'm gonna share with you guys that I still love the Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation from JCAT. This is the shade Natural. I'm wearing this today. And I'll just show you really quickly when you go in here and you coat the brush, it's pretty opaque. So make sure you're not grabbing too much, but it's so nice to kind of brighten up underneath the eye. It has some nice coverage in it, but it does not look cakey or bunchy on the skin. Now I have tried this as a foundation. I like it more as a touch-up product than I do a full foundation, just because I don't really love powder foundations as much as I love liquids because I like working with liquid products and powder products. And I find that when you go in with a full face of powder, you're gonna be stuck using only powder. It's not like you're gonna use powder foundation and then put a cream blush on top. That would really not be a good idea. Okay, I also really love the HD Finishing Powder from NYX. I've told you guys I like this little mini guy that I can toss in my purse, take it on the go. It's a colorless powder, it takes down the shine, minimizes the look of the pores. And then I also really love this Undone Beauty powder right here in the shade Light. It is the Under Over Powder. Now this one says you can put this underneath your foundation. I have not tried that. I have not had a day where I've wanted to, where I'm like, I don't care how my makeup looks today, like let's try this out. But I have heard of this technique right after I say like, don't use powder foundation and then use liquids. I don't know, have you guys tried this technique? Do I need to like play around with it? It kind of freaks me out. Like it's just gonna be a goopy, gloppy mess. But I could be proven wrong. I have been proven wrong on other things before in terms of how to apply makeup. So, you know, keep an open mind. But I do have to say, I love this to set makeup. I love it on the go, great ingredients, great price. And moving along into loose powder, we can guess. Drugstore option, Cody, classic, really fragrant, 
I wish they would make one that was like fragrance free. Do they have that? I don't know, let me know. Cody Airspun, we love it so much. Um, I've been using this literally forever and ever and ever. I can remember even stealing this from, should I say, should I out us right now? Me and my best friend, we would use her mom's, I think. And we just like how it smelled and we're like, oh, it's makeup, you know? And this has been around forever. So it has that nostalgic scent, which is overwhelming. I agree, it's overwhelming, but the formula itself is just beautiful. Another one that is drugstore that has the same type of finish, but is not as fragrant. I don't think there even is fragrance in here. Yeah, there's no fragrance in here. So if you want a fragrance-free version that has the same kind of coverage, I would go for the Jason Wu. You can get this at Target. This is the setting powder. I think they only have one shade. It's just kind of translucent, but will really do a good job brightening and setting your makeup. You can do a nice bake with it. And then for the higher end, Huda Beauty has done a beautiful job with powders. Again, my only gripe is the fact that it is very heavily fragranced. Do we see a theme here? I don't really love fragrance in products. I can do without it. I don't need it to smell good while I'm applying it. No one's coming close to me to smell my face. And I do know that it can be irritating to the skin. And also when you like fluff it up in the eyes, I'm like, oh, like that can't be good or breathing it in with a loose powder. So that's my one gripe is the fragrance, but the finish on this is like no other. It's just smooth, sets you in place, locks you in place and does not look cakey. Okay, the never ending list of makeup continues. Let's talk about blush, shall we? Uh, let's talk about cream blush first. I have Nude Envy right here. Beautiful, wearing it today. So nice, right? This is a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. I have loved this one for a long time. It is pigmentation, okay? You only need a little bit. It is beautiful, lasting, sophisticated colors, right? Does this not look like, oh, I'm classic and gorgeous and I just sometimes like those kind of classic, beautiful, not too loud, ba-bam type of shades. If you like more loud, ba-bam kind of a shade, but still elegant. This is Patrick Ta. This is She's That Girl. I've been wearing this one a lot. I actually got rid of a few other blushes because I was like, well, this is the one that I like and the shade that I like. I will say this, the cream portion in here is beautiful. It is a little more slick, a little more glossy. So if I'm doing more dewy makeup, I will reach for Patrick Ta. If I am doing a look like today that is a little more dialed back, and matte and I know I'm gonna put powder on top of it and I want the dry down to not be as shiny. Can you see? I will go with Nude Envy. The other one that I love still very much and I need to reorder is from Honest. I will always love them and, but you've heard me talk about them so many times so I'm just gonna kind of gloss over it. I also want to mention, this is one that kind of falls right in the middle of being a little shiny and being a little more wearable with a look like what I'm wearing today because you can see the dry down is a little bit more powdery. This is from DC Cosmetics, Dominique Cosmetics. This is in soft pink. This is their cream blush. And I, I mean, it's beautiful. You can even just do like this business. I love that about creams. You just like bam, 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 put it on the lip, out you go. So good. She is a mess. Hello. <laughs> I still have so much to talk about. Everything here, these are like the legit favorite, favorite, favorites. This is the stuff that I'd be like, try it and you'll like it. I bet you, you would like it. Let's get to more blush because why not? Let's talk about powder blushes. This one from Tarte, their Amazonian Clay and Captivating. I've used this one for years. It is a long wear blush. It blends beautifully. The color is just captivating. It really is. It's like this peachy, beautiful peachy pink shade and it's so flattering. And then if you like a clean formula, you're looking for talc free, you want something that it falls under that category of clean beauty and that's important to you. Lawless makes some gorgeous blushes, whether you're into that or not. The blush shades and the textures are just something else. It's hard to find blushes in these colors that are matte but are not choppy or chalky. I mean, come on, right? Like I almost wanna just like, not that I need any more blush on right now. 
but it is just, yes, sophisticated woman. This color right here too. Oh, I just, I don't even know which one is my favorite. So let me go through the shades. I'll put in a good old arm swatch for you right now so that you can see how gorgeous they are up close. We have Desert Rose, Indian Summer, Soft Nectar, and Vintage Love. And they are phenomenal. If you have sensitive skin, you're gonna love this because it's not gonna make you break out or have any irritation added to your face. It's just a beautiful, beautiful formula, beautiful product. Now, if you're looking for a palette, ooh, I have used this one up. I have used this. Whoa, whoa, Scott Barnes. This is the Chic Cheek number one palette. And these two right here, you might look at and go, yeah, right, no way. Um, Yes, this right here mixed with any other blush, I am telling you, will be the most flattering thing you have ever put on your face. You don't believe me right now, but um, if you, like, look at that. It just gives you, when you layer pink on top of it, I'm just even gonna go into Lawless right here. There is something that it will do on your skin to make you blush and glow in a different way where people are like, what shade is that? What did you use? Like this is celebrity secret right here. Like this is the secret stuff right here. And this palette comes with a few shimmers. You have a few neutral mattes and then you have those pops of color. This palette will go far. You can use it on any skin tone. It's just good stuff. Good stuff, pro makeup artist or not, good stuff. For like 2.2, we will look at cream highlight. This is from Stila Classic Kitten Putty Highlight. By the time I'm done filming, I'm gonna be wearing my entire collection here. Let's just do it up. Look at that. Bam, right? Hello. And then we have from Dominique Cosmetics, the Golden Dew. Do we see? I went through a phase where I would put stickers on the bottom of products that I super, super loved and I would like rate my collection because I had so much makeup everywhere and it makes me laugh now where I got rid of a lot when I moved and I'll see like, oh, that has my sticker on it. That's like, ah, oh, one of my faves. Developing cosmetics and reviewing product. And if you're my kind of mindset, I get a little bit way too into it with my notes and the ingredients and the packaging, how long it wore, why I like it. I really go through product A to Z and I just have always been on a mission to find the best of the best of the best. and. Yeah, we went through this phase, kind of funny. This I have loved using not just on the face, and you can see it goes on top of whatever you got going on just fine. It kind of just presses in really, really beautifully. But what I've loved about this, because it has a little bit more of a sticky texture, I will actually take a brush, like a foundation brush, and go in on the body, and it looks beautiful. There are many different shades, Copper Light, Sunset Glow, and Golden Dew, which was my favorite. I am hoping they still have these. I love them so, so much, so, so much. All through 2020, I wore this highlight. So good, this is really pretty too. I only have two cream highlights that I can't do without. I don't really love cream highlight that much. So I do love highlight. We're gonna move into the powders. Now, a newer one that I am obsessed with is the Dolce Perla Baked Highlighter from Milani. So a quick little mention of that. But then the one that I love, 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 love that I have been using for years and years and years, that you can use as eyeshadow, you can use on the body, you can use on the face, you can blend colors together, you can go into the little squares and just use a lighter shade, you could go into this darker row. It's really up to you how you wanna use this and I just love the versatility of it and of course the price and the creaminess of how it looks on the skin. This is the Warm Nude Palette from Physicians Formula and it is their Shimmer Strips All-in-One Custom Nude Palette for face and eyes and this is the Warm Nude. Now, the higher end version of this that is just a little bit more finely milled, a little more sophisticated just in the packaging presentation, but you can see these two are very, very similar as far as the tones. And this one from Dior, just every time I wear it, I am so surprised. It is so stunning. And I also love on the body to take all four together, even this kind of chocolatey one right here, and just bronze up the body. It's super, super beautiful. The drugstore kind of bronzy, highlighty duo right here. I've talked about this a ton. This is the Warm Up Bronzer 
from Undone Beauty. We won't stay there too long for mega highlightage. If you want to be lit, if you just want to be a glowing little light bulb to the world. This palette right here from Scott Barnes is where it's at. I will kind of mimic what he does and I'll try, well, I'll try to. I kind of go through the whole thing and then like do the body. But these I've even used like just on the eyes because they have this reflection in them that is just so gorgeous. So great for eyeshadow, great as highlight on the face. And you get a beautiful kind of pinky one in here. Like literally, are you kidding me? Like how beautiful are these? Come on, like that is stunning. So, so pretty. Okay, um, I'm just gonna be so radiant by the time I'm done with this video. This one is just so, so good. The glowy and showy number one. And I've used this, PS, one more thing. I have used this a ton. I don't know how I have not hit pan because I go in. There's a lot of product in here and you don't need a lot to get the job done. It will last you a long time. All right. For bronzer, let's chat about it. Of course, this that I just mentioned right here, the warm-up bronzer is my drugstore option. The kind of two that I have that are not super luxury, but are more up there in price, make it forever. This right here is the Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. And yes, I said foundation, the shade Y535, I find to be perfect for bronzer for me, for sculpting, it blends beautifully. This is just a beautiful powder, whether you use it as foundation, setting powder, bronzer, they have a ton of different shades. However you choose to use it, you will not be disappointed. It is a beautiful product. And then the Glowish Bronzer from Huda Beauty in Medium. This, you guys, is just, wow, it is, what am I doing? I have blush all over, whatever, I don't care. I did not think I would love this so much, but I love this, it's so good. All right, now we are going to talk about setting powders. As if we needed more product, whatever, let's talk about it. Um, because this can really take you far if you're someone especially with more dry skin, more mature skin. I will actually use a product like the Ambient Powders from Hourglass all over the face. Kind of scary to someone who has oily skin, so don't do it if you are naturally shiny and you don't like shine. But if you have drier skin and you're like, I can't figure out a way to make my skin look creamy and really hydrated. Taking a product like this all over the face lightly, you don't have to go in hard, can really go a long way. Now, it's not as reflective as what I was just showing you guys like with those highlighters. So it's not like this crazy, Highlighter, sorry, I am not, I'm sorry I'm using my middle finger. It means nothing other than my other fingers are covered in other makeup. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal product. Love this product. Will not, not have it in my collection at all times. If I run out of it, I'm getting more, it's that good. Another product that I love for setting the face. Now this is something I've used over a year now, year and a half and I mean, I don't use it that often. I don't think I can go through this whole thing before it goes bad. This is the Prism Powder in uh, number two from Givenchy. And this is just a, kind of like a hourglass, but more in your loose powder form. You can use this all over the face as well. And it'll give you that creamy, beautiful finish, kind of soften fine lines and pores and give you a blurred effect. If you want something that is a little more amped up in a little bit of shimmer, I'm wearing this one today. So any of the shine that you see on my forehead, shine that you see on the face outside of just my highlight and shine on the necklete, decollete area is from Laura Mercier. Now this is their translucent powder in glow. This has a definite kind of a golden finish to it. Not a ton, you can barely, you can see, it's just like a little whisper of shimmer, but it is more on the actual golden side. But I think this is a beautiful radiance powder, beautiful radiant setting powder. Love it so, so much. All right, last but not least, let's talk about some setting mist. Let's get the two that you guys know I love out of the way. Uh, Mac Fix Plus, Professional Super Setter. This has been the duo. I have been loving this. I have one other product that I have not mentioned on my channel yet that I am new to, but loving. And it takes a lot to impress me when it comes to setting spray. This is the Cream Skin Mist for normal to dry skin from Laneige. I love the mist on here. 
Laneige makes beautiful skincare products. They have some great overnight lip masks. They have great overnight masks for the face as well. And this is just like the most soothing. Like if you are tight, if you have normal to dry skin and you feel your skin throughout the day getting a little bit like, ooh, like I need a little help here. My skin feels tight. This will take that away really quickly. It's very gentle, very soothing. Also works beautifully to set makeup. <clears throat> wow. I love all of these products so, so much. I'm looking at all of them and I'm just like, oh, I just wanna give this family of face makeup a big old hug. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know that was a lot, but if you guys enjoy this type of best of the best of the best, let me know. We can go by category and I will share with you what I actually held on to from LA, what I repurchased, what are the it products for me because really, I don't have much more than what I just shared. So this is pretty much the makeup collection when it comes to face products outside of new things that I'm testing out. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what some of your favorites are in the comments below. Go and have a good one. Whatever you are doing, I'm sending you love. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.